Hey y'all, Jim here with Simple Life Tennessee. What you're about to see is the beginning of a series called From Hayfield to Home. That's right. If you look behind me for generations, this has been used as a hayfield. We're excited to have you follow along as we turn this hayfield into a home. All right, y'all, so we had a massive flooding issue that came through yesterday. And what I'm showing you is where the water came through. You could hear the creek in the background. But all that laid down grass right there, you see, that was a river for a short amount of time, all the way down through this field. There's the whole field. We kind of take a walk. Let's go over here. So you can see just how wide this is. I'm standing in the middle of what would have been the river. And I'm saying it's a good 50, 60 feet. And it goes all the way down this bank. There's the creek. You see how much water is flowing through it right now. There's all kinds of debris that is washed down through there. Trees look like they might be getting ready to come down right there. That I'm going to pay attention to. Gonna have to do this in segments probably. It's gonna be interesting, y'all. You buy property. This was not a flood zone. You look over there at bank. There are two pieces of the bank that washed out that caused the culvert to overflow. That is also pushed it down into this area. Guys, what you're seeing there is part of the road. You heard me correctly. That's asphalt. That is chunks of the road laying in the back of our field. Chunks of the road, y'all. Asphalt. I mean, and I can't pick that one up. There's my foot. Water is one of the most powerful things that there is. It's starting to get swampy right here. That was not there before y'all that creek was by where the tree is that's where the creek is supposed to be flowing and that's how much is still sitting there and that's all the rock that it washed out this is what happens when nature decides to do its thing you can see it's pretty still pretty damp pretty nasty pretty wet this all just occurred yesterday in about two and a half hour period now, while we're building our houses up there, looks like it's a fairly good condition. Oh, duh. look at that. Okay. This is quite discouraging. However, I'm gonna walk up here. Right here, there seems to be little to no sign of water coming through. Luckily, our house is gonna be built up here. So from a Blood perspective I still think we're in great shape there's actually a female turkey huh. and nature still has to eat y'all still has to eat okay stick with us we're not done I'm about to take you up the road where I'm assuming the majority of the damage is still done I'm just walking through our property Trying to check and see if I need to be aware of how we're going to grade this. And if I need to put in any retaining walls or any other tiles or culverts, something to uh, make this a little safer. Let's see, right back here, there's our, right up here is our property stake. There goes the hen. Right there's the property stake. If you look, you can see all the water. So this hit the back part of where our property is going to be. This is all laid down from the water, y'all. That means it was rushing all the way through here. And where this back property stake is, it is, oh yeah, it's a good, my boot is completely underwater, so it's a good four to six inches there. So 
So whatever caused this river, that's pretty significant. I don't think we have to go much farther. Those, all that brush right there, some of that was already, already up there. But you can see the trash. Some of it was actually washed down. Put a culvert or a tile in that runs this stretch of the road right here. Because if we get up here, you can see where the water was overflowing off the road and run it down this way. Clearly the water was coming down around that telephone pole. You can see the ditch here where it was coming down. And if you look here from the neighbors, you can definitely see where it's washed out or at least came down pretty significantly in that area. See the trash. It's about a 30 foot section here where it's coming out off of their property. Overall, their property's ditched really well. It's right up there where they had the embankment come down. It blocked, blocked up their culverts or their ditch. Other than that, this is running right down the side of the road, which is what you want to see. We would bring it out this way. Our house is going to be back that way. So overall, from the perspective of building our house here, I don't think much has changed. I do. I am concerned. But if you look, they have drainage tiles right there. So that's what's bringing that down from the, from the property. I'm not too worried about that. They look like they had this dug out good. If we walk up here, we can see where the bank has washed out. That's what caused the issue here for this culvert to overflow. Let me zoom back out for you so you can see the culvert. And that's forcing the water out onto the road. That water wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that washout there. And then right here, you got another one, which is forcing water onto the road and forcing it over uh, to the property. Once again, if that didn't happen, you wouldn't have this issue. Okay. They had a pretty significant amount of water that rushed down through there. Taking a look at the damage before we start cleaning this up, y'all. Just good to be able to see it, you know. The amount of gravel and rock. You guys look at that. That is washed down off of the road. If you guys see this, remember I showed you that chunk of asphalt? That is plywood. And those are chunks of the asphalt from the road, y'all. Oh, that is the ripped up. I'm going to walk this way. <clears throat> Let me give you guys a different perspective. That is the road that has been ripped up off. The asphalt that's been ripped up off the road. Can you guys see that? Where they've had multiple layers of asphalt on this road and it's been completely torn from it. I don't know if I can cross this safely.